When I first started doing this, I was laughed at. And we know that it works. It's transformational for people. The benefit to organizations is that it unlocks the potential in people. That potential is never ending. Getting that relationship right, the one that you have with yourself, is crucial in my opinion. for 20 years, over 20 years, and it's funny because when I first started doing this, I was laughed at, you know, I was told we don't need love and compassion in the workplace, but this has been at the core of who we are for 20 years, and we know that it works. It's transformational for people, and that's why we keep doing it, because it's our passion. It's what drives us every single day. The benefit to organizations is that it unlocks the potential in people, and that potential is never ending. We're creative beings, so creativity is gonna be the thing that pushes you forward. Profit will come when people are authentically connected to their mission, and very often they're not. The new ever-changing work landscape calls for more emotionally intelligent leadership. A revolution in flexible working, a new generation entering the workplace, and a welcome focus on mental health and well-being has shaken up the way organisations operate. We embrace this change and welcome the horizon. We've been trying to take the human being out of the employee for a long time. It doesn't work. So why wouldn't we want to have people at work that actually know what it is to be human? They understand the difficulties. We understand what trauma sensitive means. We understand what it is to have heart brain coherence. You know, we understand what it is to regulate emotions and we learn tools and techniques to actually do that. That is in alignment with what it is to be human. We are facilitators. We are the catalyst that can open the door inside of our clients. When you're in a place where you understand yourself much better and it's you that you're working on and it's you that you're studying, that affects everything that you engage in. We take ourselves into our possessions, our families, our, our homes, our experiences. So getting that relationship right, the one that you have with yourself, is, is, is crucial in my opinion. It's not about having one way to do something. It's really about the opportunity of understanding who you are as a person and what you bring to the table and saying in the situation I'm in today, in the opportunity that's being presented to me, what is it that I can do to be able to thrive the way I want to thrive and the way I want to show up in the world? And when we create an environment that's safe for people to explore that in a way that's unique and private to them, we often get a much better result in the way that people choose to learn and create that intrinsic motivation to be a more effective leader, and a more effective human being for both themselves, their family, and their organizations. Our curated range of programs work on neural pathways to transform attitudes and behaviors. All our programs are grounded in science and offer practical, hands-on learning with real applied practices you can use right away. Change doesn't happen overnight. We've never done workshops. It just doesn't have the same impact. So we've always run long-term programs for that reason, and it's scientifically based. We know that change happens over time. We're with them all the way. Our coaching is uh, part of the program and continues beyond the program. That connection is a long-term connection and it's a real partnership, and I love that. built a global community of leaders who understand how to make a real difference in their work and larger community. There is a deep and ongoing commitment to exploration of themselves and those they serve. What I loved about the program was that it allowed me to really look within myself to kind of figure out what, what it was about me that was maybe not 
allowing me to reach my team. I was struggling at the time. So once I started using things like being curious, um, being asking questions, allowing them to get to the, to the end result on their own and being holding themselves accountable, I found that um, I was getting some good results, which I also took home and use with my son and, and you know, to make sure that we could connect them on certain things at certain levels as well. We were merging uh, actually multiple companies. So we acquired two or three different companies at the same time. And for us, it really helped us learn about the people that we were working with on a day-to-day -day basis. And so all of a sudden you've got two other people on your executive team and you've got a whole level of directors that you know have been used to running things a certain way in their business and we're used to doing a certain way in our business. And those cultures really clashed. And so I think this program really helped us sort of understand how these other people think and how we think and how we can work together. And so I'm pretty proud three or four years later that I think two out of three mergers fail. And I think we successfully merged an international company. So it was a really positive impact for us. Our tagline came because our clients just kept saying it to us over and over and over again. And for the first 10 years in the business, we didn't have a tagline. But we couldn't, we couldn't ignore it any longer. You know, people would constantly say, this has been a life-changing experience. I am not the same. You know, I have tools. I feel resilient. I feel like I have positive optimism that I didn't have before. I feel like I can actually navigate conflict in a healthy way. Um, so life-changing leadership came from our clients saying it over and over and over again.